good morning. There's so much progress that's getting done around here. I have to show you. Today is the day. I'm so excited to say goodbye to these brown cabinets. Today is the day. I'm so excited to say goodbye to these brown cabinets. They've been bothering me, like I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm just so excited to get the ball rolling on the kitchen. Like, ugh. I'm so over the brown cabinets. They're gonna be a gorgeous light green color. I'm honestly worried that there's gonna be too much green in here because like every room is green. But I'm trusting the process because I think it's gonna be sick. Good morning, good morning! I am in such a fantastic mood today. I was talking to my neighbors in the elevator. Like, I never do that. And there was some man in there with a lot of backpacks. I'm like, where are you going? He's like, I'm going to France. Like, I, that is so out of character for me, but I'm just in such a good mood. Hello, things are happening. Thank God, I think I was just getting just like, I don't know, kind of stir crazy overwhelmed. Cause you know when something drags out and it doesn't start and then the idea of it just starts getting way more intense than what's actually going on. But hello, today things are happening. The project around this home is commencing girl and we are making some serious progress. So all of the kitchen cabinets have been taken off and they're being primed right now. Actually, Henny knows more about the process than I do. Wait, so what do they do? Like a liquid? Liquid sanding. They sanded it down, and then there's that white as a primer, and then the green goes on top. So then it's really like nice. It's actually done well. So all of these have been, I don't know, I'm just repeating what he said. All of these have been sanded with like a liquid sanding. This white stuff is the primer, and this green color is going over top. And the whole kitchen is about to be the most gorgeous green color. Like, I'm obsessed with it. Let me see if I can find out what it's called. These are called, what color is this green? It's the most gorgeous green ever. It's the Bear Ultra Laurel Tree. Let me show you how good this kitchen is looking. I'm so happy today. So, kitchen update. You can kind of see, I mean, obviously like everything's taken off and you can't see how it's gonna look, but you kind of can. Like, is this not the most gorgeous color of green you've ever seen? I'm so glad we're not playing it safe in the kitchen and doing like white, bright, modern. Like, I'm glad we're doing fun, creative choices. This will be black. So this is gonna be a solid black color. And yesterday I was looking at just some black next to this green and isn't that just a gorgeous color combo? Look at this black next to this green. Like, it looks good together. So it's making me excited to change these to black and I could not be any happier with this shade of green. It's gorgeous. By the way, very important announcement. Literally this Saturday, I'm doing another hot girl walk this time in Miami. Come alone or come with your friends or come with your dogs. I'm just excited to hang out with you. It's my first ever hometown hot girl walk. So I will see you there. It's a great way to make new friends. 
we're gonna get our steps in and we're gonna take fire picks. So for now, this is really bad for you. We belong because you are the music in. I'm in such a good mood today. Stop. I haven't sang like this in weeks. Okay, so for now, the baby room is where we're putting all the packages as things arrive because this is the last room we have to get done in this house because we have a little bit of time. So baby room is where all the packages go and things are finally starting to arrive. A giant mirror came in. I want to say this is for the main bedroom. I think. I don't know actually where that's from. This, I'm not sure what it is. It says white boucle on the side, so it must be some sort of furniture I'm forgetting. Some rugs got in, and even some decorative pieces are starting to come in. Yesterday was a fun decision-making day. In this baby room, we... Is it called a nursery? That's what it's called. I keep calling it a baby room. So in the nursery, we want to have as much fun as possible. Like, we don't want to reel ourselves back or make it neutral or play it safe like we really want to take this space and go crazy with it because it's a baby like you know it doesn't really matter like this is the place to have fun in a home so the two wallpaper options i was looking at yesterday were these two at first and i liked the vibe of this bird one but not necessarily the birds themselves. You know what I mean? Like these colors are gorgeous, they're bold, the print is fun, but the birds themselves threw me off. I just felt like the room would be a little birdy. And this is the other option, which I also really enjoy. I think it's busy enough, like busy, not in an ugly way, like busy in a fun way that's like interesting to look at, but neutral enough because the color is like pretty subdued and the last option is these stripes these stripes are obviously really pretty they're a little bit more on the plain side if you compare it to the other two options and the stripes you can dress them up with a bunch of different fun colors and like play in that way but then we started thinking about painting at the ceiling and doing some like crazy crazy shit. and i told honey i'm like come on when else would we ever paint a ceiling if not in a nursery like that's the perfect time perfect place let's paint the fucking ceiling let's do something crazy up there and let's kind of come up with a wallpaper that's not too intense with a painted ceiling because then like everything is going to look a little bit circusy but it is a baby's room so even if it does look a little bit circusy like it's totally fine so what we've decided to paint clouds on the ceiling i think the whole ceiling is gonna be a light blue with white big clouds painted on it honestly just like take my word for it that it's gonna come out good i'm confident in it i think it's gonna look very much like an organized mess and it's gonna be kooky and it's gonna be weird and it's gonna be fun and it's just gonna be divertido you know what i'm saying so this room is literally gonna be whack a doodle time it is whack a doodle Time. This is my studio slash glam room. This is my zone, you know? It's like my space for me to do me, film my TikToks, film my YouTube videos. It's like my little safe haven. In our last house, I kept it super safe. I kept it more on the simple side. I did this neutral cream wallpaper and it felt very clean in all the videos, which I like. But in this one, I wanna have a little bit more fun and be more playful. This is Brit. So initially we were gonna do a wallpaper and it was gonna be like $3,000 or something crazy like that. So Brit said, let me just paint a mural. I love this shade of pink. I love it cause it's not too, too bubblegum pink, like Victoria's Secret pink, like bubblegum vibe, but it's kind of like a muddy terracotta-y vibe. Painted in a way that's lime wash-ish, but like renter friendly version. So it's like a lime wash vibe. And there's this abstract, gorgeous mural. I love it. It's like not too eye-catching. It's like kind of subtle. Doesn't really draw your eye to it intensely, but it's just enough detail. It's gorgeous, honestly. I'm not 100% sure about this, but I bet by the end of today's video, if things keep going along at this speed, I'll be able to show you the complete kitchen with a new color. Cause I mean, it looks like after today it'll be done. I'm so excited. 
I told you that this is the backsplash we're doing, right? So at first I was a little apprehensive because I'm like, I don't know, is it too kooky? Is it too colorful? But I think it'll be an easy switch, first of all, if I like absolutely hate it. I don't know if it's going to be painted on or if it's going to be an actual like stuck on tile. But regardless, I don't think it's the biggest deal if I like absolutely despise it to go in there and change it to something more neutral and simple. But I think this backsplash will be fun. Again, like we really want to make this place kooky and different and out of our comfort zone and stuff that we're not typically familiar with. I mean, you saw our old house. It was very put together and polished, but it was the definition of playing it safe and like the definition of neutral and CB2 aesthetic, like very predictable. So we were trying to be okay with unpredictable choices. And I think this backsplash in the kitchen is one of the ones where we're more nervous about it, but we're trying to take it there. So we're just doing it. And I think it could actually be super fun. I'm so excited to change this light fixture. Like she truly has to go. But seeing this progress, like I'm in such a good mood today. Like the sun is shining brighter. This is good. Also look at how gorgeous the day is today. Are you kidding me? I don't know if it's the good mood talking or what, but it is objectively a gorgeous day. Oh my God. I'm like, hi, stunning. It's stunning. I've been seeing so many TikToks about nesting and apparently it's a real thing. And honestly, like I've been feeling that vibe, like allegedly when you're about to have a baby, you get the house all ready and you like start preparing everything and it's like an instinctual thing. So I am in my nesting era, honey. This place is coming along so good. It's already feeling homey and I'm feeling better about being in Miami. I think what happened was I was just out of my routine and I was surrounded by a bunch of white walls and I just went into like a bit of drama panic mode. Like I miss. Arizona this is bad and as we keep making this place feel more cozy and more cozy every single day I start getting back into my routine I'm like wait like it's not that I don't like Miami it's that this place wasn't feeling homey so seeing this project come together and spending so much time with the family has been making me feel all the warm and fuzzies I have so much furniture coming in I have so much planned for this space there's gonna be gold hardware on all these cabinets and you're just gonna have to keep watching. There's a part two to this video coming this week where I keep on showing you the transformation of this apartment, girlies. So buckle up and get ready for a wild ride. We have the office to do next, our bedroom to do next. We have a million things that we ordered still on the way. And seeing even this little progress is getting me so excited to keep on going. Also, how dope is it that we hired an all woman team? Like look at them doing their thing, painting, DIYing, like iconic. And this countertop is gonna be wrapped. It's gonna be black. And I think once the countertop is black, it's gonna change the entire vibe. That and the light fixture. I mean, it's already looking 50,000 times better than it was. It looks hot. So yeah, I will see you in part two.